In this illustration, we intend to simulate the progressive collapse of a steel frame in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the model is composed of column, middle column, beam, shear plate, continuity plate, and bolt. In this question, first the middle column is removed and then a vertical load is applied to the model. In this picture, the experimental sample can be observed. In these pictures, the results obtained from the Abacus software can be observed. In the last picture, the results obtained from the Abacus software have been compared with experimental results. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are concordant with those mentioned in the article. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Investigation of Different Still Intermediate Moment Frame Connection Under Column Loss Scenario. I click on translate instance, select beam, done, first select this point. Then this one and OK. I will click on translate instance, select beam, done, and move that as much as 500 millimeters downwards. I'll click on linear pattern. Select this column. Done. Select this line. And enter offset equal to 2000 millimeters and OK. I'll click on linear pattern. Select beam and column. Enter offset equal to 2000 millimeters and OK. In this table, the properties of different parts of the model have been defined. First, we intend to define the properties of column flange. I 
I click on general menu then on density the density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9 I will click on mechanical menu select elasticity and elastic young modulus is equal to uh, 205,000 megapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 I'll click on mechanical menu then on plasticity and plastic yield stress is equal to 295 megapascal and ultimate stress is equal to 466 megapascal. In the next step, I intend to define the interaction among uh, bolts and shear plates as well as beam. I'll click on create interaction property, select contact and continue. I'll click on mechanical menu, select tangential behavior, then penalty. As explained in the article, the coefficient of friction between beams and shear plates is equal to 0 0.3. I'll enter load module, click on create boundary condition, select displacement rotation and continue. I'll select the bottom of the model done and close all boundary conditions of displacement for it. In the next step, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. Here, the horizontal axis is the middle column displacement, and the vertical axis is vertical, vertical force. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and Continue. Here, I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As, then select Sum. And OK. Here I'll select displacement and click on save as. I will click on create XY data, select op operate on XY data and continue. I'll select combine, first select U2 and then total force. Put one negative sign here and one here and click on save as. Here you observe displacement force diagram obtained from the Avacus software.
I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is newton. Here, the diagram having been drawn with green color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very similar to those mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated properly in the Abacus software.